Welcome again, everybody, to another edition of First Person, sponsored again by the Unity National Bank with locations in Troy, Piqua, and Tip City there in Miami County. Discover for yourself the difference a community bank can make in your life. Again, convenient locations, great people, wonderful services. You'll enjoy your association with Unity National Bank, sponsors of First Person here on Press Pros Magazine. Volleyball, the subject this weekend, and the lady to my right is well known among uh, uh, volleyball enthusiasts, particularly coaches in the area. She's Amy Steininger, a five-time state championship coach at Marion Local. You know, at some point, does it, it never gets old, people tell me, right? No, it never gets old. People ask uh, about my history coaching at Marion Local and about the success that we've had, and it just brings a smile on my face to talk about it. It was really a... A, a blessed time for and, and yet five, five wasn't enough to keep you head coaching because well, there were other things going on so <laughs> I mean there's still a, there was still a bright future at Marion when I decided to resign it wasn't that um, it was just a good time um, to resign to spend more time with my family I had my third child a week after the state championship game <laughs> in 2013 I so that. I was huge at the state <laughs> game and everybody was hoping that I wouldn't uh, deliver the baby right there, but and he yet, and yet, three of four camp said, "What's new?" I know, <laughs> I know, I know. It's crazy, but no, it was, it was just a, a great time. So many memories of coaching at Marion. We digress. We want to talk a little bit about uh, uh, volleyball this weekend. Of course, this is regional weekend. The state finals are next uh, week, and uh, you know that very well. So nobody better to talk to about why. Uh, and I've been impressed this year with the. the quality of athletes and the popularity and girls that you talk to now who once played basketball now gravitate toward volleyball. More opportunity, they like the training regimen, they just like everything about it. Yeah, I read an article uh, recently that volleyball has overtaken girls basketball in regards to the number of participants at the high school level and I was curious to know why that was and there were several girls that gave different reasons, um, whether it be the lack of running in volleyball, how volleyball, you, you can be short and tall and be successful in volleyball with the addition of the libero. Mm -hmm. So you can play back row and you can be as short as you can be and still be successful. You can even be a short setter in a 6-2 offense and play the back row. And we had a few of those at Marion Local who were ultra successful and contributed to our program. Um, a lot of girls also don't like the physical nature of basketball. They feel like they just want to stay away from that a little bit. Um, and like I said, the lack of running and conditioning and stuff like that. Volleyball is still a tough sport. It's just a different type of conditioning than it is girls basketball. But I personally love girls basketball as well. And I think that girls should play more than one sport. But I think that, you know, the, the growth of volleyball, like you said, the athleticism that we've seen over the past few years, you're seeing six foot four, six foot uh, five girls playing all the way around now, and it's just incredible the athleticism that you see. You talk about athleticism, and I'm going to talk about a couple of particular players. One we saw this week uh, in the uh, district and regional rounds, Paige Jones at New Bremen, who's going to Michigan. Johnny Parker, I want to mention her Absolutely. because at Miami East, she's going, I think, to Penn State next she year. Is, yes. Uh, there are, these girls are popping up now in places like New Bremen and Castown. They're not just necessarily in the Greater Catholic League in Cincinnati or in uh, Columbus or Cleveland. Correct. Why so many girls now suddenly in communities like New Bremen and Castown that are getting this type of attention? Well, I think that the growth in this area has been substantial in volleyball over the past 10 years. There's always been a great um, amount of success like in the St. Henry years, they won championships mm -hmm. in the 80s and 90s. Um, but the athleticism that we're seeing now from these girls, like I said, they're stronger, faster. They're playing club volleyball at the highest level possible. 12 months a year. Yeah. So Johnny Parker played for Muncieana, and she drove four hours round trip, wow. practices twice a week, and they won a national championship last year in the club season. And Paige Jones travels to Elite Volleyball Club, which is in Columbus. So they're willing to make these sacrifices to make themselves better. And you see that they're, they have scholarships to Big Ten schools. And the Big Ten is the best conference in the nation for collegiate volleyball. So it's really exciting to see that you have that support from the parents and the families and the communities in these small town cities 
and they're willing to make those sacrifices, you know, in order to better themselves as players so they can compete in college. I think you also need to mention the fact, and I, this stuns me, uh, the number of great volleyball coaches in this area. Now, we all talk about the number of football coaches because right. of the success and the legacy of football in West Central Ohio. And you can go ahead and talk about Diana Kramer and give her her creds because Absolutely. she's got it going on right now. But uh, Kim Metz, uh, yourself, all these great people who ha are having this success, and that has a lot to do with it. It sure does. I mean, the coaches in this area were so instrumental to the success in this area, and also myself as a coach, because I looked up to these coaches. And Kim Metz, I coached her daughter in club. I got to know her over the years. Diana Kramer, I actually coached her in club. Mm -hmm. So, in a way, we're kind of helping each other did out. Did she have the hair then? She did. She had the she hair. She still had the okay. hair. Yes. <laughs> yes. Just a great person. And all these coaches are great. We have Nikki Etzler at Coldwater, who is a fantastic person and coach. She played in college. Diana played in college. So, we have a lot of coaches here in this area that know the game really well. John. And John Rogers. John Rogers. He John was a, Cash. Yes, absolutely. I know both of them really well. Um, John Cash just got a job to be the men's coach mm -hmm. and um, at college down in Tennessee and uh, John Rogers was an assistant coach at University of Akron so yeah it's been you guys have great pedigrees great. people have Absolutely. great pedigrees let's Absolutely. talk a little bit about some of the teams that are still active um, right now Laramie former state right. championship they're mm -hmm. in, engaged this weekend uh, as we record this now in fact they'll play tomorrow in the regional finals, that new Bremen team we talked about, Miami East. Talk about some of these teams and what makes them so special, beside the fact of Johnny Parker and Paige Jones, because we know there's other players on those teams. Absolutely, and a lot of people I hear, you know, they say that, oh, new Bremen is all Paige Jones, which is, Not couldn't true. be further from the truth. Do they set her a lot? Yes, and she gets a lot of kills but they would not be able to be in this position that they are now if they didn't have the core around Paige Jones. They have great setters, they have great middles, right side. When we played them this year, I was so impressed by their supporting cast. We knew Paige was gonna bring the heat, and she's a terrific player, but they are where they are because of their supporting cast around Paige. And Diana also, you know, the coach, really puts them in that position to be successful as a team. And same with Johnny Parker. We saw Miami East play at the Coldwater Invitational this year. And while she brings a lot of heat as well, she's a heavy physical hitter, heavy hitter, physical player, um, you know, they have great players around her as well. And I've found that over the years, you can't just win volleyball with one outstanding hitter. Um, you have to have that supporting cast in order to win a state championship. You had some Big Ten players yourself, the winner girl at the Melissa Winner at Melissa Winner at um, or Alyssa Winner that at, at Marion Local. You know a little bit about what it takes to make those players that much special. There is a little something extra in the tank for those girls. There is absolutely, and Alyssa Winner uh, played back row at Ohio State. She was a captain her senior year, and she was another one who was super dedicated to volleyball when she was in high school. She traveled to Montana Volleyball Club also her senior year to get you know, the best training that she could in order to prepare her for Big Ten Volleyball. But she also played basketball as she was playing you know, Muncieana Club and then our high school season, she was ultra successful. So it, it takes a lot of dedication and hard work for these girls to be at the level that they are. And what you're telling me is volleyball is no different than life itself. You get out of it what you put in. Absolutely, and I tell girls all the time, volleyball season is short. If you think about it, you start playing in mid-August, and then you're done with your regular season in mid-October. So you play two months of a regular season, and you compare that to girls' basketball, where well, you have three, four months of just regular season. So you have to play in the off-season. Whether it's club, personal training, camps, open gyms, whatever it is, you have to make yourself better in order to be successful in high school. This gal knows something about it. It's Amy Steininger, five-time state champion at Marion Local on volleyball in the area, great teams, great coaches. I think you covered everybody. Everybody's going to be happy with you. Oh, good. You, you, you've, <laughs> done, you, you've done well, and thank you for your time. Great Thanks for having me, Sonny. Nice to see you, too. I, I remember the days well. That wraps up this edition of First Person with Amy Steininger, again sponsored by the Unity National Bank in Miami County with offices in Troy, Piqua, and Tip City. Give them a call. Discover the difference a community bank can make in your life. 
For Amy and the sponsors, again, we appreciate your support of what we do on Press Pros. We'll see you again next time with another edition of First Person.